Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. So Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite has got a new software update and it has six new features related to multitasking, edge panels. So first of all, I will show you how to update the software and then I will show you the new features. So first of all, you have to go into the settings. So just select the settings icon and once you enter into the settings, you have to scroll down and in the last you will see this option of software update okay so just select it and once you enter into the software update option the very first option over here it says download and install so just select it and once you enter into the download and install you will see this button over here it says download okay so just select it and it will take uh, just few minutes uh, to make the complete update so guys, our update has been done uh, successfully. So the very first feature that I want to uh, show you is related to the multitasking feature. So for example, I take out the edge panel uh, from the side and the very first thing that you will notice is the background will not become blurred. Before it used to be blurred when we take out the edge panel, but now in the new update, the background is visible completely. And the second thing is related uh, to the multitasking feature. So for example, I open this uh, Samsung internet. Okay, so I open this uh, website. Okay, and now I want to open another link of this website. So I don't have to just select it and the, uh, the link will be open in the whole page. But what I can do is I just use my S Pen. I grab any link from the website. Okay, for example, I just grab it. Okay, I hold it with my S Pen and then I can simply move it to the left. You can see over here, I just put it here like that and then it will open automatically in the multitasking uh, mode. You can see over here. So two uh, same website, but in two different pages with two different links. So you can see over here. So now they are uh, uh, same website in the Samsung internet and then I can access both of them. So this is really, really amazing. The next feature that I want to show you is, uh, for example, if I open another app in the multitasking mode, I just take out the uh, edge panel and for example, I want to open uh, the uh, Google Chrome, I just uh, take it out like this and for example, uh, I want to put it over here, okay? and. Uh, now in the new feature is there is more flexibility of multitasking window so you can easily resize okay and reshape okay for example i will show you if i want to take it out like uh, till here i can make it like that okay or if you want to make this side okay you can put it like this as well before we don't have this uh, type of uh, flexibility before there is a limited flexibility you can move it uh, uh, to the left or right or up and down in in a limited way but now uh, it is open it is more flexible you can see over here so now uh, with the new update you have more flexibility the next feature is related to navigating two separate pages uh, for example i open uh, any menu for example i open the settings okay so when you open the settings you will see now there is a separate page over here and it has more information related to what you are searching over this side for example if i want to use uh, the sound option so you will see all the information related to the sound Okay, you can see I can easily move this page and this page is now separate. For example, if I go to notifications, okay, and then you will see all the options related to the notification. Okay, the next feature is related, again related to the uh, multi-tasking uh, feature. So before what happened is there are some apps that you cannot use in the multitasking feature, for example, like Instagram, but now you can use all the apps in the multitasking features what you have to do you have to go into your settings as i'm uh, in my settings now and then you will see an option of advanced features okay so just select it and then you will see an option over here it says labs so just select this labs option uh, once you select it you will see the very first option over here it says multi window for all apps okay so you just have to enable it 
okay so now i enable it now you can open all the apps in the uh, multitasking feature so now for example i take out the edge panel and now i want to open the samsung internet so simply i can open it over this side okay and now uh, i will uh, try to open another app let's say uh, the instagram okay so i just select it and now you will see the instagram will open uh, in the multitasking uh, mode but before it was not like that you cannot use the instagram in the multitasking mode so for example i put it over here and then you can see over here the instagram is uh, you can open you can access the instagram in the multitasking feature so for example if you take out the edge panel and if you see these three lines okay over here so you just uh, select it okay and once you select it you will see the last option over here it says pin okay so now you can pin your favorite apps and it will display over here on the side so for example i select it i select the pins and then you will see your favorite apps will display over here you can see over here for example samsung notes is my favorite app so it is also pinned and then you can change them as well okay there are settings option as well and then for example if you want to open all apps you can also open all the apps and they open like this in the side edge panel okay and then you can also change the settings you can also um, make your uh, favorite apps in the pin mode as well okay so uh, this is another feature uh, and then uh, the overall improvement you will see in the uh, s6 slide okay you will see it will be more smooth and all the uh, other bug issues uh, are fixed so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please do subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much